So today we're going to discuss the highest caffeinated beverage in the world. Okay, so let me know what you think it is with the comment down below. All right, before we cover that, I want to just mention that there's a half-life of caffeine. In other words, it there's a point where it breaks down so it no longer has its effect. And that is usually between four to six hours. Now, of course, if your liver is damaged, if you have a fatty liver, if you have cirrhosis, if you have hepatitis, this is going to be extended to the point where it could even reach up to a hundred hours. So it's basically floating around your system and you're not going to be able to sleep. Okay. So if you drink coffee and have problems sleeping, then it could be the liver needs to be addressed. Okay. The point is that there are certain enzymes that are supposed to get rid of this chemical and uh, the liver is responsible for that. Now, the next point I want to talk about is the caffeine molecule is very similar to another molecule called adenosine. Okay. Adenosine signals its sleep time, time for bed. So if you don't have enough adenosine, you're not going to be able to feel like you're tired. You're not going to be able to go to sleep at night. And caffeine can lock up the receptors for this adenosine and just prevent you from sleeping. That's why it's important to have a good liver. And it's also important not to overdo it on the caffeine. Now, do I drink coffee? Yes, but I only drink one small cup in the morning, probably the size of a teacup. Uh, it's because I had a history of abusing coffee, large amounts, and it affected my sleep big time. I think most people consume too much caffeine and they probably should cut it back, especially if it's affecting their sleep and other health aspects. But our world collectively consumes about a hundred million metric tons of caffeine every single year. We're fully addicted. All right, now let's talk about what beverage has the most caffeine of anything. Okay, so start with Starbucks. A 16 ounce has 515 milligrams. That's quite high. Starbucks 12 ounce has 260 milligrams. Five hour energy drink, two ounces has 215 uh, milligrams. Red Bull 8.4 ounces has 80 milligrams of caffeine. Black tea 12 ounce has 62 milligrams of caffeine. A Coke 12 ounce has 34 milligrams of caffeine. Of course, a lot of sugar too. Jolt, remember Jolt, that uh, soda, 16 ounce has 160. I thought it would be a lot more than that. Okay, so now I'm going to reveal the beverage that has the most caffeine, which is 1,555 milligrams of caffeine of a 12 ounce size. And that is Black Label Devil Mountain Coffee. So they basically add caffeine into this coffee to make it over a thousand. This is completely and utterly insane how much caffeine is in there. So if you decide to consume this, maybe you should only have like a coffee the size of this little cap right here. Okay, maybe a half of an ounce. I think that's, that's your limit. All right. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you have my app yet, Dr. Berg app, it's totally free. You should download it. Okay, this is what it looks like. You click it, it gives you all sorts of great resources. I have all my YouTube videos on this app. Okay, and it's regularly um, uploading the most recent ones. All the YouTube videos are also converted to audio versions. Okay, so you can use it when you're walking, exercising, driving your car. I have a mini course on there. I'll be putting additional courses. I have a lot of recipes on there. This is new and also PDF resources. So there's various downloads, PDFs that you can get as well. And if you wouldn't mind, after you download it, check it out. Give me your unbiased review and tell me how you like it. I want to know.